Hi guys, my name is Vladimir Vermus uh, from Olympus Scientific Solution Department and today I'm gonna tell you about sand analyze. So how we can test uh, quad sand which is next used for a glass production uh, with a portable XRF. So we have a couple samples from our clients like this uh, Vanta C series mounted in the working station. Uh, yeah, a, a Vanta with a, a silver anode. Uh, PC software, which you can see on your screen. And I use this soil cups, just default soil cups with a proline 4 micron film uh, for testing. Um, so the request from the client was. Um, can we determine uh, with Vanta? Uh, can we determine uh, the type of the sand according to this uh, classification? Uh, this is Russian classification on different uh, sand grades, uh, and you can see that uh, the sand grade determined by like three major elements: uh, silica dioxide, uh, ferrum oxide, and aluminum oxide. And there is some summary have element fraction. So uh, the request from the client was uh, more focused on uh, iron oxide because uh, this is the element responsible for the, the light uh, transparency of the, um, of the glass. Uh, so this is an iron, a ferrum oxide is the, exactly uh, the element who responsible how transparent uh, will be glass after its production and for which uh, purposes uh, you can use it. Uh, but uh, with Vanta we can not only uh, with Vanta with the drift attack we not only can uh, analyze uh, iron oxide but we can determine full composition of the uh, of the glass here and that's I'll show you yeah this is software we use Geochem three beam mode but we will use only two beams here. Uh, also for this kind of application you can use soil mode but uh, if we're interested in light elements like aluminum, silica, magnesium it's better to pick geochem. That's exactly what we've done. Testing times 10 seconds and 30 seconds in the second beam. Hmm. We can even decrease it to 20 seconds. And let's open the chamber, put the sample inside of it, and push the stone button on the screen like this. So first of all we have first beam, which analyzes uh, heavy metals. Oh yeah, I forgot to, but this is like, uh, by the certificate, it's uh, 0 0.15 and 7 uh, of uh, iron oxide in this sample. So we get 0 0.1 and 3 and aluminum dioxide. And it's done. So now we easily can compare it to our variation of grades here. Yeah, I would say that this one. So this is uh, PB 150 and 1 grade. Yeah, sorry, this is a Russian types of grades, but still. Um, so in, th in like 30, yeah, in 30 seconds, we easily determine uh, the raw material, a raw called sand by grade. Uh, and I wanted to show you that you uh, you know that uh, energy dispersive XRF uh, shows the pure element, like the how many atoms of this element, this particular on that particular element, um, is inside of the sample. But we have here uh, oxides, so uh, it's not a big problem. We always can calculate the elements by the factor uh, according molar mass and recalculate it to any different compound. Of course we cannot determine two uh, 
same like two oxides of the same element at once because it's not diffractometry. Uh, this is uh, XRF. But we can uh, do this one. And also in this particular application, I use pseudo elements. I use them for uh, summarizing of all the heavy elements and then show them like a trace, uh, um, like heavy trace uh, stuff here. And for uh, proper calculation of silica dioxide uh, base. So let's go for the second sample. This one, uh, this is 0 0.0260. Um, yeah, this time I don't forget. Uh, I don't have certificates on that, only uh, data from the client. Let's start. 10 seconds in the first beam and 20 in the second. Extremely precise number for uh, iron oxide. And yeah, here is the aluminum and let's compare it to the our types of grade. So aluminum in less than uh, 0 0.6 and yeah this is this uh, BC030B uh, this is type of the descent. So that's how easily you can uh, determine quote sand by type or just measure if you need it uh, only element of your interest. If you want to uh, uh, test only for uh, iron oxide, it's no problem to do it as well without any tuning. Uh, that's how easily you can do it. Uh, I hope it was interesting for you and uh, please uh, if you want we cover in this type of video some any other application just let us know. Uh, you can always contact us uh, in olympusims.com just uh, hit on submission form and do your request. We'll make another next video for the topic which you're interested in. Thanks for your attention. Have a good day. Bye-bye.